Okay, well, everyone, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, again, we've got a very special presentation from Matt Ashby, who's going to introduce himself and give a little bit about his history, but uh, he has been very successful with eXp and has a lot to share about what the brokerage is and does and can do for you. Uh, for example, living you know, whenever you want in Mexico is kind of part of the options. Um, like I said, we've got a great cross section here, everything from agents that are um, brand new and going through the training about to write their exam to agents that have been licensed for only a couple months. And then we got a couple, well, I'm probably the vet here at uh, five, six years here, maybe along with Jordan and Courtney. Um, but yeah, we're really excited. Thanks again for your time for this. Um, we are learning so much about eXp today, guys, and, and how it can benefit you. And it, it's pretty tremendous. Matt is a true professional at this, and he's going to really explain it in depth. And uh, hopefully we got a bit of time afterwards for a couple of questions as well. Yeah, perfect. All right. Well, thank you for uh, everybody here for your time. Really appreciate it. And thanks, Sam, for, for lining this up. Um, I'm going to keep it really brief because today's not about me, it's about EXP, um, but I got, my dad uh, was licensed in 1984, grew up in a real estate of families with Remax for years and years, uh, got licensed in 2014 and started in commercial real estate, I started a team, uh, I'm based out of just outside of uh, Toronto, Ontario, um, and then my dad uh, brought me EXP. And uh, I don't think I looked at it for about two weeks. <laughs> okay. I was really happy where I was. I had a really good flow of, of what was going on. And when I actually sat down and finally uh, took a look at it, it really started uh, clicking for me and making a lot of sense. And uh, so I ended up uh, wanting to bring this to Canada. This is back when the company had about 500 agents uh, total in 2015. Um, met with the founder of the company, met with the CEO, uh, or actually he was the president at the time, Jason Guessing, and wanted to launch this into um, Ontario. And so I had to wait two years, um, which was uh, awful, um, because I, I knew where I wanted to go and what I wanted to do with this company. And in 2017, myself, my father, and another broker out of Ottawa launched the ESP Realty into uh, Ontario. And then pretty well, we've helped open up every other province um, in Canada. Uh, BC was next, Quebec, uh, obviously the Maritimes and everywhere in between. And uh, it's just been a crazy ride. I still sell a lot of real estate. I still have a team in, in London. Uh, but now we're actually taking this brokerage and going international. Uh, so starting a real estate team down in Mexico right now. Um, my team currently expands uh, nine, nine countries and uh, 1,500 uh, active agents. So it's been uh, just a whirlwind uh, of the last four and a half years. So um, that's my background. Um, I've been here basically from the beginning in Canada. So I'd love to, as we're going through the presentation, write down some questions, love to answer them at the end of this. Um, and if I don't know the answer, I will definitely get the answer for you uh, by the end of the day. So I'm going to share my screen here. Perfect. Thanks, sir. All right. So I'm going to just start from here. And what's really cool um, about this brokerage is that it is one, it, it truly is the future of real estate. And you'll see there's something for every, everyone here, whether, um, you know, like you're just writing your license uh, or getting your license, whether you've been in it for a few years and you're looking for uh, uh, ways to increase production and, and get some hands on coaching and training. If you're looking to, um, sorry, somebody's coming in. If you're looking to take your uh, career to the next level, or if you're looking to build a team, there's literally something for everybody here, and it's something drastically different that you'll that you'll uh, than you'll see at any other a typical franchise model or independent brokerage. So we'll jump right into it and we'll get started. So we're going to cover three things: so the EXP story from humble beginnings to the fastest growing real estate brokerage in the world, uh, our business model, and then the three wealth building pillars that we that we offer. Okay, so. so so the evolution of real estate all started with the independence and went to the trust companies. And then the franchises came in the, in the 70s, all right? 70s and 80s, you probably recognize a lot of these names. And then what happened was the team factor started. It was actually Gary Keller with Keller Williams who really started pushing the team uh, portion uh, of, of real estate. So yeah, here we have the franchise. The models came in in the 80s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Um, then the team started really taking place. Okay, and you'll see that everywhere now where teams started personally branding themselves, having even their own office space, uh, doing their own doing their own thing, even running their own trainings. Um, and then what happened was that really kind of backfired at the franchise level because teams, leaders started realizing, why am I paying all these franchise fees? 
and then moved into opening up their own brokerage, opening up the boutique brokerage. And then EXP is that new business model in the 21st century using technology that's now attracting uh, previous franchise owners, teams from franchises, and we've now had hundreds and hundreds of boutique brokerages shut down and merge on our platform. And we'll get into that um, in a little bit as to why. So our founder, Glenn Sanford, it's our Canadian claim to fame. He's actually uh, from Alberta, uh, but he did move down to Washington uh, when he got into real estate. He's a tech genius, um, and he really focused on lead generation software back in the late 90s, early 2000s. He led multiple Keller Williams teams in multiple cities. And as we all know, or we should all know, being in real estate, that in 2008, the housing market crash happened in the United States. And Glenn realized that top producers were hardly ever coming into the office. Okay. Um, the only people he had in the office were the admin that he had there or the furnishings. And he had all this crazy overhead and was paying franchise fees. So he put on his tech brain. And in 2009, we, he launched eXp Realty, the first cloud based brokerage with only 25 agents. Now, this is what's taking place. <laughs> okay. Um, in a very short period of time, uh, 500 agents in 2015 is when I learned about it. 2017, when I brought it to Canada, there's about 2,500 agents. And it has just skyrocketed to over 80,000 agents in 21 countries and become the fastest growing real estate brokerage in history. And there's a reason why, or at least why I ask myself when if I were going to be doing due diligence on our brokerage, why is it that we've become the fastest? And it really comes down to the agent value a proposition that we offer to our to our owners. Okay, uh, this is just my dad and Gene Frederick Rob Flick. These are all people that would be part of uh, your team to help support you. Uh, Gene and Rob helped build Keller Williams uh, for 20 plus years. Uh, used to be regional owners. Uh, this is my father Patrick. I actually took this picture. This is an event that we went down to Mexico. We actually have a ton of fun at EXP. We have a shareholder summit coming up in June. Uh, down in Orlando, we're taking over Universal Studios. Um, so lots of uh, fun stuff going on. So what we're doing is changing the mindset of realtors to thinking that like business owners, we're building a business instead of a career. And we have two very unique things at eXp. Those are stock and revenue share, and both are willable assets. Uh, which is something very unique to our uh, business model. So we're attracting a lot of top caliber agents and teams in Canada. I'm not going to spend much time on this, but we actually introduced Donna. She used to own six Remax franchises and open up Keller. She's now the broker record for Quebec. Uh, Randy out of Abbotsford, top Remax prior to coming over to EXP. Wayne Jewell, Southern Group franchise owner, Derek Gillette. Anyways, I'm going to fly through these because that's not what this is about, but we, this is why we've become the fastest growing real estate brokerage in history. And what it comes down to is we become owners in our brokerage, okay? And so this is, so we'll just touch on international expansion really quick. Uh, this gentleman, um, most if you have been around EXP or if you've Googled EXP, you've probably heard this name, Michael Valdez, for 17 years. He opened up over 20, uh, sorry, 70 countries for Century 21 Sotheby's Cobble Banker. And just two years ago, uh, he became the president of international expansion for eXp Realty. Now, why does that matter? Because if you're going to earn equity in a brokerage, you want to know where the company is going. In a very short period of time, we now have 21 countries um, open. And uh, you'll see why that uh, can actually uh, have an impact on your business um, as we get, get into it. So let's get into why we're extremely different than any other thing that you've ever seen before. So our business model. Um, I don't even think I have to explain this slide. <laughs> in fact, I don't even know why it's in here. Uh, Blockbuster, Netflix, Sears, Amazon. Technology has changed industries. And I felt like I always knew there was going to be something that is going to come in and rock the real estate industry, but I knew it wasn't going to be e-signature. Okay. And now we have EXP, but the brick and mortar locations is very expensive, lots of overhead, and there is nothing wrong with any of these brands. They're all fantastic in their own right, but they all have something in common. Okay, the common denominator is that they were all built prior to the internet being a thing or a smartphone being a thing. In fact, it was built, they were built prior to the fax machine being uh, a thing. Okay, so now we have EXP coming in and it's become the brokerage business innovator and disruptor. Um, 
uh, of recently. So how a traditional real estate model works is a master franchise. They don't sell real estate, they sell regions. So they find regional owners, then regional owners don't, uh, don't sell real estate, they go out and they sell franchises in that region. And that franchise then goes out and recruits real estate agents. So it's been like this since day one, since the 70s and 80s. And so what ends up happening is the money flows from the agents uh, to the broker owners to pay for the overhead. They have to make a profit. Regional owners take their cut as well. And companies, for example, um, I won't use the name, but like, you know, the big balloon, they're publicly traded. So they have to make a profit at the top um, for their institutional investors. Century 21, Cobalt Banker, Sotheby's, uh, all publicly traded companies. Okay. And so what's happened here is that the money flows only one way up and has to go pay for all these levels of brick and mortars. Um, very interesting fact, if you're new to real estate, you may not understand it fully yet, but if you work for Remax regional quarter headquarters, you get things like maternity leave, uh, sick days, <laughs> stock options, health benefits, um, all things that you do not get as an independent contractor, as an agent, yet who is the one that is fueling all this? It's the agents with the relationships they have with their clients. So our founder came in and said, we're not going to be a franchise that's old school. We're going to be one big company with a virtual headquarters. So we don't need these regional owners and all the brick and mortar overheads. We don't need the franchise owners and all the brick and mortar overheads. And we're going to collapse this traditional real estate model and put the agents right underneath the company. So what it does is by flattening it, gives us great cost savings that benefits you directly. OK, but it also allows us to uh, then go and take that money and go invest in other things that are going to help our, our, our agents. Things like Showcase IDX is lead generation. Verbella is a tech company and success. If you're not familiar with success, uh, lots of personal development and coaching, which we'll get into in a little bit later. Um, so at the end of the day, you get really good splits, lower fees, free lead generation. You get to earn equity in the parent company and also share in the company revenue. So that's something that you like. If you're not familiar with Regis, uh, they are the largest co-sharing work uh, office space company in the world. Uh, you can Google them, Regis, search for the location. We all get, as an EXP agents or brokers, a free membership to Regis worldwide. You can use their coffee, Wi-Fi, use their... Um, office spaces. Um, if you want to rent a boardroom or anything like that, then there is a nominal fee for it. Uh, but it's typically serviced by somebody who brings muffins and coffee and, you know, all that stuff. So if you have a big presentation, you could use it for that. <clears throat> so this is where it gets pretty crazy. So this is our EXP uh, world. Now, prior to uh, learning about EXP, uh, nobody had heard of what's called the metaverse. Turns out that we've been working in the metaverse uh, since 2009, <laughs> and now it just has a name for it. Um, this is the craziest thing. I came from commercial. I have a suit and tie every day in the office. Um, and so when I first saw this, it was a little taken back, but it started making a lot of sense. So you can walk right up to Joshua, say, hey, Joshua, how are you? I have a question about my last stock award I just earned. Hey, he'd say, hey, Matt, great. Why don't you head over to accounting and talk to Sheila? And you just, you walk right over and talk to Sheila and she would Talk, tell you all about it. So we have all of our meetings here, large scale international meetings, daily trainings, information sharing, and lots of team collaboration, all through the power of technology. But where most people get this incorrect is that we are a full service real estate brokerage. So everything you've been accustomed to, instant access to brokers, admin tech and accounting. Uh, <laughs> we, use, uh, we take trust deposits through our phone because checks are so outdated and crazy that we're still using them. If you have a client and you're picking up a deposit check, you typically at a franchise have to walk over or drive over to the office, drop off that check, and then the admin person there takes that check and brings it to the bank. Why not just be able to deposit that check right into the bank using technology? And that's what we do. We take a picture of the front and the back, goes right in. And we also offer incredible health benefit plans, different packages for different families and different uh, with, with uh, people with different needs. Uh, so really, really uh, an agent-centric and agent-focused uh, real estate brokerage. Okay, our three pillars of wealth building. One is production, because that is why we got a real estate license to sell real estate. So we're gonna teach you how to sell more real estate, how to continue selling real estate, how to build that referral business too. 
while doing that, you're going to become an owner in a company. You're going to earn stock and stock awards. And we call it the realtor pension plan. And revenue share is completely optional, but the company will uh, will show you how to make a bit of a passive income if that's something that you're remotely interested in. So number one is uh, increasing production. We have free training and coaching for all of our agents. Now, at a typical office, and I'm not, and just to let everybody know, I'm not saying it's not a bad thing, but we're just radically different. So I'm not picking on any one brokerage or model. We're just so different that it's, you can't compare apples to apples. So we have a top uh, tier award at EXP Realty called Icon Agent. So if you're familiar with Century 21, be similar to like a Double Centurion Award or a Royal Page like a Chairman's Club Award or whatever. So our just called Icon. Now our, our Icon Agents produce 80 hours of live weekly training for all of our agents. So it's not about the quantity of the training, it's about the quality. Because now you can log in and you can learn from somebody who's selling 300 homes a year in Miami, somebody in Denver, somebody in Toronto, somebody who does pre-construction, multifamily, whatever it might be. Now, why do these very busy agents give back time? One, they get, well, mainly because they get incentivized by the company through stock, okay? So they give back their time to be able to, to train. So. The way I see it is that, you know, if you're an agent, you can jump into our training, interactive live, and then be able to pull all these golden nuggets from top producers from all over North America. That level of collaboration has never been done before. We're the first uh, brokers to do it. They're interactive. It's effective. You can ask questions. You can, uh, there's role playing. There's all different types. There's scripts that you can save and use. It's really powerful. And of course, uh, we record a lot of the sessions because, uh, you know, family, kids, <laughs> timing, friends. Uh, sometimes you may not be able to attend a live class or we record them. Lead generation. Uh, basically, um, we have something called KV Core. Okay, KV Core is a third party website, uh, CRM system. If you wanted to go buy it right now, feel free to Google it. It's about $9,000 a year just to have the CRM system. Okay, I think it's thousand dollar initial setup and four ninety nine a month or something like that. At EXP, we've redirected those funds from commercial landlords and leases like brick and mortars, so that we can provide agents with very powerful lead generation tools and systems. And what we get is KV Core. You get you get to sell more real estate, a personal website, and it uses artificial intelligence, behavioral automation. Uh, we do free training on setup as well as for, there's tons of training uh, with the EXP world. So when you combine world-class training and coaching combined with technology and lead generation and the best you can get, um, you're going to sell more real estate at the end of the day. So this is, people may know him, Thomas Kala. Um, uh, he's actually on my EXP team. His first year in real estate combination of um, icon training and, and coaching, uh, as well as KV Core. He actually sold over 50 homes his first year and became an icon agent himself and now gives back time in the EXP world to other agents looking to inspire um, and, and create the next generation of leaders in real estate. Stock and wealth building pillar number uh, two. So uh, we are publicly traded on the NASDAQ. Our ticker is EXPI. Um, EXP World Holdings is our parent company. And then it owns EXP Realty Verbella, which is a 3D virtual world. Showcase IDX, which is a new lead gen, and Success Magazine. As agents at EXP Realty, we earn stock in the parent company. Okay, so we just acquired this company, Success uh, Magazine, Success Inc. If you're not familiar with it, it's one of the oldest brands uh, in the world. Um, and, uh, Anthony, Tony Robbins' son, Jarek Robbins, is the new president of this company. And they've already got podcasts lined up with Lady Gaga, Tim McGraw. They're going to revive this whole brand and become that 800-pound gorilla in the space again. And they're putting a lot of money into it. But why is that great for us? Because when I sell my first home at EXP, I earn shares in the company. <laughs> okay, So this is pretty exciting. This is how the stock works. Now, this is a, an overview. Uh, there are uh, more than happy to answer questions afterwards, but if you wanted to do a deep dive or cost analysis, if you're already selling, uh, feel free to reach out to Dan or I or whoever invited you to this, uh, and we'll get that to you. So how we earn stock equity awards. Every year you close your first deal at DXP Realty, you're going to earn shares in the company. 
when you cap out, so for new agents, um, you're typically on a certain split. And then when you hit a certain amount of gross commission income, you then go to a different split. So we call it capping out. At eXp, we start at an 80-20 split. Once we make 80,000 in gross commissions, we go to 100% for the remainder of your anniversary year. So when you cap out each year, you're gonna earn another $400 for your stock award. And if you help contribute to the growth of the company, if you attract an agent over to the company who closes their first deal, you're gonna earn shares in the company. This is each and every year, okay? Now, is it going to retire you? Maybe in 20 years, but well, it's just a nice gift from the company for doing things we already do in real estate. A uh, bit of a catch on this, there are vesting periods. so. It's awarded to you, but you can't cash it out for three years, which typically most billion dollar companies do that. Like Tesla, you can earn stock options, but you can't touch it for a certain amount of years. Agent equity program. This is by far my favorite one. Um, if you like, you can take 5% of your gross commission income and roll it into purchasing our stock at a 10% discount. So 10% off the public price. Um, I call it forced savings. Uh, it's on a $10,000 commission. You'd be taking $500, purchasing our stock at a 10% discount. Completely optional. You can cash out anytime. No vesting. Uh, just another benefit for our shareholders. And then our Icon Agent Award. If you do a decent amount of business and you think you'd be close to an Icon Agent Award, uh, reach out to us. We'll do a cost analysis. Um, our cap that we pay into the company is $16,000. Uh, so that's the 80-20 split up to $80,000. GCI, our top producers, to make it short, earn back that $16,000 back in company stock. And in return, they provide training to our agents. Okay, so very, very uh, powerful. So when you run the numbers, we call this, I think this alone could be a disruptor on itself, let alone with the revenue share. Um, because the big thing is you can work at Remax the next 20 years, Real Estate the next 20 years, Century 21 the next 20 years. And at the end of the day, we call it leasing because you are leasing your brokerage. At eXp, you actually become an owner and earn equity, um, and it's what we tell our clients, okay? So wealth building pillar number three is the revenue share, passive income, and early opportunities. This is simply how it works. Not gonna spend too much time on this. If somebody would like to learn more about this, they can reach out to me directly or Dan, and we can share with them how it works. But it's good for you to know um, a little bit about our, our model and why we're going so quickly. So what happens is on the 80-20 splits first 80,000, then the agent receives 100%. Out of the 20% that goes to the company, we don't need all that money because of our model. So we decide to sh uh, split it with all of our shareholders who happen to be our agents. So on $10,000 gross commission, while that person's capping out, 80% uh, would go to the agent, 10% goes to the XP corporate, 10% gets put into a revenue share account every that only stays in there for one month okay and it gets shared back to all the other agents who help contribute to the growth of the company it's paid back through these seven tiers uh we're it's very similar to the keller williams model but we're not income and expense we are revenue share so that it's not even close to the keller williams model but it also what's what made keller williams the largest franchise in the world and now we're becoming the largest uh exp realty model in the world i guess there's nobody else to compare us to so Long story short, if you introduce 10 agents at three and a half percent, you earn that. Not for, you get that from the company dollar, not from their commissions. Uh, so easily 10 times 2,800. Everybody can do the math here. Um, it, it can be a powerful passive source of income just for help contribute. Uh, what's really unique about this is that we are one open book. So you can actually go see our financials, okay, and take a look and see how everything's recorded. Uh, when I got started in Ontario, um, my goal was just to make enough money um, to basically pay for my ad spend <laughs> so I could sell more real estate. Um, and so I was introduced 10 agents, turned into a team of 58. Um, out of the 58 agents here that were doing closings on the way to their cap, that month the EXP paid me $8,300. That's not stock, that's not vested, that's commissional income, put right into my bank account, just like a commission. Pretty powerful stuff, considering the 10 agents I introduced, eight of them were not even in my local town. Three, two of them were in the US, some were in BC, some were in uh, where were we? Ontario. They were all over the place because we're one big company. 
Okay. And that's why when I say we're open in 21 countries, well, one of the guys I'm down here working with, I'm introducing him to EXP Mexico and I'm going to earn revenue share from the production of him and his team. Okay. Everything's done in real time. You can see exactly where it's tracked, uh, the amount given to the agents, the revenue share, and pretty cool. So we do, real estate professionals do two things, listings and buyers, working with your sellers, working with your buyers. At the end of the day, it's trading time for money. If you've been in the real estate conversation for long enough, you'll, you'll probably hear a couple of different sayings. One is you're only good as your last sale. <laughs> okay. Cause you only get paid once on that. The second is list to last. You need to get listings to, to last in this business. What we offer uh, on the back end on our brokerage model is stock ownership and revenue share. So uh, these are things that build assets for you and your family's future. They are willable, which is super, super important. Uh, they're only available at EXP Realty because of our real estate model. Um, and uh, John Cooper says it's, says it's the best. I'm a business person with a real estate license, and there's no better opportunity in real estate than EXP uh, Realty. Okay, just, uh, just to finish up here, guys, a couple of testimonials, people on my team, to show you uh, how powerful this really is. We call this the trading time for money column. Okay, so these are, you know, list a house, buy a house, list a house, buy a house, repeat year after year after year. Um, and we call these the wealth building pillars. So these are different stock earned. Uh, these are monthly revenue share payments that have been paid out. Um, and you can see they're just all relative to, to how what you put into it is what you get out of it. Uh, so very, very exciting, really unique um, things. But this is definitely uh, very real and why we've become very powerful. We've also created a plan for those who are interested uh, to, to create a three-year business plan, uh, to create a $100,000 a year per year passive income stream. If you have any interest in that, we can send that over to you. We do coaching and training on that. Uh, if it's something that you want to participate in. Um, so the world becomes your market when you join EXP. Um, and this is where it gets really exciting. This is the second last slide, and then I'll open it up for questions. I'm not even sure about the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but just rocking and rolling. So Keller Williams, 184,000, Remax, 140,000. Um, and we're just getting started. Okay. Um, now, Michael Valdez, the good gentleman I introduced you to at the beginning of this call or during the guy for international expansion, he believes we are going to become um, a very big powerhouse in this, in this real estate space because of our technology and because of our agent value proposition. He says that there's about 20 million realtors worldwide, okay? And our company goal is 5% market share, which is 1 million realtors. Now that sounds crazy to think that Remax has 140,000, they're very well known, Keller 184. Where's the difference in EXP? Is that out of those 20 million realtors, a lot of them are independents. Now, why would an independent come over to EXP? Well, one, they're never going to buy a franchise if you're independent, because that's the way they didn't want to go. But as an independent, they can kind of merge with us, keep their branding, and be able to build a global business. Okay. And uh, at the end of the day, it's an 80 20 split on your first 80,000 that uh, basically pays for you know the 80 hours of live weekly training, your KV core. Um, all that stuff, and then 139 a month. Uh, when you get started with us, you get a thousand free uh, business cards and folders, a pin. Um, and because of the way the revenue share model is set up, you're going to actually see who is, if you will, in your upline, I guess. And those people now have a vested interest in your success. So you have now seven people who are, have a vested interest in your success in selling real estate. Uh, putting you into the right trainings, helping you stay motivated, helping you keep become accountable and point you in the right direction, uh, which is really cool. And, and they can definitely help you get uh, set up and started on the right track. So that is a lot. Um, I, we are <laughs> moving this presentation to make it less because if you're brand new to real estate, we are a little bit more complex than Here's your split and fee and sell for us. And that's it. We are more, more complex because we offer you more in the form of stock and revenue share and lead generation and different things. So uh, if you feel overwhelmed, if you feel like you just had a sip out of a fire hose, that's okay. Um, just, just, you know, digest it and then do your next form of due diligence. And, um, and we, we, you know, 
happy to have you on, on board. So I'm, I can open up to questions or Dan, if you have any questions or if you want to moderate or um, I'm happy to, I got to a, uh, answer. I got a question Perfect. for you, Matt. And I guess this, I, I've asked Dan this question as well um, hmm. is, so I'm a, I'm a new agent. I'm like quite new in the business. And I'm, I'm wondering like, how do I try to get, new like other agents who are who have been in the industry longer or new agents who don't have who who are coming into the business as well i'm just like i maybe i, I maybe it's a lack of confidence but i feel like I, i'm not sure how to get them in like to try to show them exp and, and convince them that oh, i yeah. would be the one to to join with yeah well we got something really really exciting that's going to help out so it's going to be a two-part answer to this um one if you're showing somebody EXP, they don't really care about your business. Uh, they care about their business and how it's going to affect them and their family and their lives. So being new, yes, it's the number one thing that new agents say is how do I get that person who's been selling real estate for 10 years? Use somebody in your upline who has that experience. Guaranteed seven tiers above you. There's somebody who sells a lot of real estate or is quite influential. Uh, use them. And say, hey, I'm partnered with Dan, or I'm partnered with Matt Ashby, or I'm partnered. And give them a bit of their story. Look, we you've been catching our attention. I'd love to sit down with you, take you for a coffee, and run some numbers, put something on your radar. You know, we're in real estate. We're salespeople. We love the idea of of opportunity. But you know, don't you know? Why don't you take a look at it and put it on your radar in case your circumstances ever change? We we actually do all this in our training. Uh, in our 95.5 RevShare training. Uh, so I would definitely highly recommend tapping into that. Um, but yeah, we're, we're here to help you. I think that, oh, and the second part, um, Dan, is it okay if I could probably announce it, right? The collab? Absolutely. Oh, 100% you can. Okay. So um, this is for, this is going to be for the new agents or newer agents out there. Um, back in November, I'm actually going to try, actually, no, I'm not going to try turning on my camera <laughs> in case, I, in case I, it kicks me out. Uh, back in November, I hired a gentleman by the name of Jason Samard. Uh, Jason is a very successful real estate coach. Uh, he helped me and my brother and us create our team. In fact, we had to bring on buyer's agents. Um, and himself, the guy who does our lead generation, Eric Preston, this guy is a guru in lead gen, uh, spends about $500,000 a month. Uh, on Google pay-per-click ads for real estate lead gem. And then Jeremy, uh, he is a high performance coach. I'm not gonna get into all the details because I don't wanna ruin the surprise. But at the end of the day, the easiest way to say this, all three of them come together and built a team of other key partners and they're going to be offering for no extra cost, no extra split, no extra upsell, no extra fees, full out uh, live weekly mastermind coaching live lead generation classes, um, 90 day build out plans for brand new agents of how to hit the ground running, bi-weekly uh, planning sessions, business planning sessions with one of their coaches. Um, and these other key partners are at least do a hundred plus deals a year or are seven figure real estate income earners. And you're gonna be able to jump on a call with them, ask questions. And by the time you get on, and by the time you get off, the call, uh, you're going to have your weekly to-do list and your homework. And if you follow this roadmap, I promise you, you are going to be successful in it. So I don't, it's called the collaborative movement. We will be, it'll be sent out to everybody. Um, and, and if you want more, reach out to Dan, he can bring you in the loop on it, but it, it is something that we're doing it out of abundance and giving back to a real estate career and industry that's given us a, a lot in return. So um, we're really very excited about it. Yeah, perfect answer. And I think James, further to Matt's point here is that's exactly the mentality here with EXP is when you do have this model where people benefit by other agent success, you truly just become an open book and you share and you give everything you have. And as someone who's now been with three different brokerages, this is so far and away better and, and exceptionally different than anything else that we've experienced that, you know, I can say firsthand that the level of support and collaborativeness, <laughs> no pun intended, is is <laughs> phenomenal. And, and it'll really build your business up. And, and keep in mind, I mean, the collaborative movement, both Jason and Eric, 
this is somebody that myself and, and business partner Ryan on the call here, we were paying them to be our coach prior. That's how much we believe in them. And that's because we were with a different brokerage. And then when we moved over to eXp, they became free, if you will. And okay. that was a huge game changer just to our bottom line, if nothing else, yet alone the fact that they doubled our business from 50 to 100 million in 2021. And guys, I spoke with Jason yesterday um, and um, his training program per agent is $25,000 a year to give you some value, right? Um, and further further to that, um, yeah, I think we're, we're really just starting, just getting started here in terms of, of, of where this can go, right? Matt, I do have, I do have a question for you. Um, sure. Uh, and maybe you can just touch on it a little bit. Um, what, what would you say the biggest objection you get from not, I mean, I, I want to be careful here because we're, I don't want to say the word pitch. We're not pitching people right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're educating people. And so they mm -hmm. learn, but I'm, I'm trying to, I, for the people on the call, I'm trying to understand what do you think the biggest objection is and how do you go about handling it? Well, it depends. So <laughs> it's a hard question it, and it's not hard, but I mean, it depends on where that agent, why they're looking at EXP, right? Mm -hmm. If they're a 20 year veteran or if they're brand new, um, and I think what people have to really take a look at is why is it these mega agents, these icon industry leaders in real estate are moving over to this company? And, you know, it really comes down to, again, the agent value proposition um, and the mentality that we are the first one blazing the path for a fully immersed cloud-based brokerage that is agent centric. Mm. So, you know, if, you know, the saying, you know, get comfortable at being uncomfortable. That's one of those situations where when I first started, people were like, EX what? <laughs> okay, right? Like, what are you talking about? Cloud-based, no. And so it took a bit longer, but as you start having adaption and people start seeing, oh my God, look at this team, for example, the number one Keller Williams team in Canada out of Toronto, Ontario, the affinity real estate group just merged with us a week and a half ago. Why is it they just merged their whole team over? That's a, those are the questions you need to be asking. And yes, is it scary going to a cloud-based real estate brokerage? The number one objection I get is I want to go into an office. I, I wouldn't even say that's number one, right? But they just don't know because EXP is more complex than a traditional real estate model where you can walk into the office, meet the franchise owner, or I call them the landlords, right? And you can start renting there <laughs> and selling real estate and make and building somebody else's dream. Whereas this model is built for the agent, not for one broker owner. Um, and so number one objection is office. And the thing is technology has gone so far, come so far. Like when I, you know, we were getting together with agents more at doing fun activities in my local markets than I was at my last brokerage. Mm. And my, my get together in my office was, you know, a training. Well, a training I didn't even really want to attend because I had stuff that I didn't want to learn about. Whereas EXP, I go to the training schedule. I can find exactly what I want to learn about that day and attend. So I, I, I guess one of, one of the interesting things I've, I've come across when, when talking about EXP to other agents is, mm. you know, the first thing you, you want to do as a, as a real estate agent is tell everybody about how much they're missing out on. And um, I, I've found out pretty quickly that that's like, that's maybe the worst thing that I could <laughs> in terms of trying to, it's like trying to, and I've explained this to my, our, our own team on our own calls that like, you know, you can't, you can't tell somebody that they're drowning if they don't know they're drowning. So throwing them a life jacket, isn't something they're going to put on. Right. So mm -hmm. some, of, some of the discussion where it, we go from talking about attraction to bringing, actually bringing people over is that objection handling and making sure that it's introduced in, in the right way. And it sounds like what you're saying is have discussions with the people around you. And when there's interest, put them in touch with yourself or us and carry that mm -hmm. motion forward. Right. Yeah. Well, 
and success leaves clues, right? If you if you come over to EXP and with our collaborative movement in your first real re, uh, first year, bang out 20, 30, 40, 50 deals, guess what? Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. um, it, yeah. it's going to make you a believer. When I got my first whatever x amount of dollar a month revenue share monthly revenue share that i never seen that in a in a month selling real estate full time mm. okay that's going to make you a, a real a believer very um very quickly and i don't recruit i i educate you know i book the appointment i i'm there's are very aggressive people out there that's just part of it when you have a model like this i get it but i don't I don't want to just bring on a bunch of agents and promise them a bunch of stuff and then have them leave. Like what's the point of that? It's a waste of everybody's time. So we've done it properly by building the foundation. So we know and have the confidence that when new agents or experienced agents come to our, uh, our team in particular, and we can offer them all these added bonuses above and beyond EXP, we know they're going to be set up for success. Um, and uh, yeah, I just plant seeds and I just find out, you know, how everybody wants to go from eight. Oh, Matt, did we lose you? Oh, no. Mexican internet might have attacked him again. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just add a bit to this as well, everyone. <laughs> Because yes, it's it's a lot to take in, and especially you know for our newer agents or about to be new agents here. Um, Focus first on the fact that EXP is fantastic for new agents because of that level of training and being taught by the high level agents. And that's, that's even outside of the whole collaborative movement and what they offer. So, you know, sure, the whole rev share thing, it may not interest you. And, and to be honest, when Ryan and I joined, we didn't, it didn't interest us. We didn't come over for revenue share. Not at all. We were like, we, want, we are client centric first and we want to be high producing agents. Cool. Um, that's, where, that's where we were at. And then, of course, you start getting the stock for free that just can't, kind of came out of nowhere just for doing what you would do at any other brokerage anyway. So that came as a bonus. And then should down the road, other agents go get curious about what you're doing and just you know normally want to learn more and they end up coming over into your downline, that's just a bonus. But don't think that you have to do that. In fact, 87% of agents with eXp don't participate in the rev share by choice. Um, it's totally up to you. So again, don't wanna drown you with too much info. Just know it's better to have multiple revenue options within your business, especially as a real estate agent, because life happens. And burnout happens. And, you know, when's the last time you went to a realtor's retirement party? They don't exist, right? Realtors <laughs> work themselves essentially into the ground. And that's just the reality of it. Do you know what I mean? There's no pension. You have to, you're running your own business. You have to create your retirement. And uh, EXP has recognized that and offered that. And so, again, be a successful producing agent first. And the other stuff is just a bonus and ready for you if you want it. Uh, it seems like to me that there's two two sort of tiers to this. If you're a new agent, it's about joining and becoming a better agent. It's about refining your skills, and going after the coaching and using the industry experts that are in your upline around you and getting that for free. Mm -hmm. And the second tier of it is if you're an experienced agent or you're growing a team or you're doing something to that effect, mm -hmm. that there's other revenue share models that, that could benefit you as well. So as you grow, that's why it's great for people who start and for people who are already established because there's something for everybody. Can, can I pipe in? Um, I was going to ask you guys, he was talking about uh, uh, a game plan, like a program that lasts uh, about three years approximately with the goal of a hundred grand and I think it was revenue share. Mm -hmm. Can you make sure to share that with everybody? For yeah, sure. well, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, he's here. Hey, hey, he's back. Hey. Hey. Yeah, hey, hey, only twice in 50 minutes. That's not <laughs> bad for that here. Um, yeah, sorry, sorry guys. Uh, normally, uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, Jesse with, um, I think it was Jesse who asked that yeah. question. So it's the 95.5 Rev Share Training Program. We'll definitely get that into your hands. Cool. Um, and what, what just a bit really quick baseline on that, 95.5, uh, this is what I did when I first started. 95% of my time was based on uh, focused on selling real estate, high level of, of the service to my clients, referral business, all that stuff. 5% of my time, I put on my broker owner hat. Because if you're new into real estate, you don't think about recruiting, you don't think about agent attraction, and that's fair enough. But when you, if you were to go open up a team or start a team, or if you were to go open up your own brokerage, you put on your 
uh, your your broker owner hat, you have to think about attracting agents. So I did 5% of my time. I put on my team leader hat. Um, and in three years, introducing five agents per year, I grew into a team, I think at the time of, of three or 400 agents and created a six-figure passive income. And now we have a... Um, we have um, dozens of agents on our team making six figures. So we have enough data to, to know. So that's what it was based off of. And that's so like half an created. hour a day, I guess, uh, per working yeah. day. Yeah. Like, yeah. Day. like, correct. Yeah. Like the way I did agent attraction. And if you, when you get a part of the collaborative movement, you'll know that Jason Smart is big into time blocking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I just time blocked uh, two hours uh, a week. And all I would do was and was just uh, reach out to to some to some agents, uh, very non pressure, low key. Um, and if I knew that they could do, you know, probably have some coaching, if they could do this, if they would be an icon agent, if they may be looking at retiring, you know, I would just kind of reach out and, and see if they would be interested. And it wasn't difficult. Uh, but what I did when I first started was I used the people above me. And I used their stories, right? I used the, got them on the call so that they could answer those tough questions or be able to make sure that they had the answers. Uh, so that's what we're in right now is that situation. So let us help build your story. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's what the 90, so we'll get, definitely get that over to you. Um, uh, Dan, I don't know if you have it or not, but I'll, I think you do, but I'll send it over again. You're yeah, please do, please do. If, if I can ask, you were saying that, um you brought on five agents a year was the goal over three years that's only 15 agents but i guess the down, downward effect turned into yeah hundreds. yeah I'll, I'll i'll share with you exactly what happened because it's on our new um slide deck that we're launching um okay. that's gonna be a lot easier so i introduced four agents in the first six months six months when i in 2017 i turned to a team of eight now that was only about four months um super excited but i also thought i was gonna have like 100 agents <laughs> year two i introduced about four more so i had eight but the team grew into about 65 wow year three i introduced six more so i think i was at like 14 now 14 yeah. or 15 yeah. went from 65 to about 400 the year four it went from i introduced about five more so it went to 21 but it, the team went to, from 400 to 800 yeah, um, and then then i introduced four more and the team went from 800 to now we're at 1575 or something like that so it's so basically what's your double total first year. line how many in your first line uh tw i have uh 28 now wow, wow. And that's over how many okay. years matt about just under five Crazy. five that, years that's the five years ex exponential literally that's literally yeah. what it is yeah. <laughs> That's the definition like, of it. <laughs> that, like, honestly, when I put out the slides, right, you know, I, I, when I was putting them together, I was like, it got me fired up because, um, like, keep in mind, I got licensed in 2014. I joined EXP in 2017. I wasn't a 30-year veteran that did $200 million in volume. You know, I was a pretty, I was a decent agent, had a small team, but we were doing about maybe 200, 250 a year. A respectable but not like a million or two um i didn't have a lot of influence um i was a pretty low-key easygoing agent so um when i looked at the numbers i got super powerful and i i don't know who asked the first question about being a newer agent and and putting agent attraction to your business plan i uh, just aim for five agents a year like i did and this is this is what happens Can, uh with the were, were yeah. you really selective like when you're picking five you probably interviewed a lot. Um, were you selective with those five? Did they have to meet certain criteria? Like, you know, they got to be doing at least 10, 20 deals a year. They have to be ambitious. I don't know. Yeah, no, great question. Um, no, I, I, at the beginning, <laughs> it was kind of uh, whoever would sit down with me at the time, right? <laughs> would be, uh, <laughs> I would be pretty thrilled, uh, pretty thrilled to, to, to sit down with. But again, what EXP is so agile. Like if you're a veteran and looking to make a retirement income with a revenue share, this is perfect. If you're looking, if you're five years in the business and realize that you don't want to lease your brokerage anymore and you want to have some ownership when you're ready to retire and have some stock, 
or if you're a brand new agent, we have the collaborative movement. We have 80 hours of live weekly training, your coaching, you know, your upline support, people incentivized to keep you accountable. So what I did was I just was very agile with what I explained, what part of the EXP explained to that agent. So it didn't matter if they're brand new or, or a seasoned veteran. Um, I also had no fear either. I called the number one agent in my market and I actually got him for, for coffee. Now he hasn't still, he hasn't joined, but he's been <laughs> watching me the last four and a half. He, he owns his own brokerage. Um, he's been watching for the last four and a half years. We've now met three, uh, probably four times in those four and a half years. And we're, he's really starting to realize that this is the real deal. Right. And um, so, yeah, um, 5% of your time, make, make some calls. Uh, don't, and guys, whatever you do, don't spam email people. It makes us all <laughs> look horrible, you know, um, just, and one, it not only does it make us look horrible, you'll get fired for it and terminated. So <laughs> that's another reason, um, sure. you know, use your relationships, um, bring value when you do agent attraction. And uh, hey, that's about it. Matt, last question, or at least for me. Um, sure. So, I mean, for any, anyone who's done anything in terms of early adoption, uh, people often feel like when they see numbers like yours that they've missed out. And so mm -hmm. what, yeah. what, can, what, can you, what can you do and speak to in terms of where the growth of the company is going, whether you think this is just getting started, are we late to the show, you know, provide some yeah. sort of context in terms of, of where we're at. I am super excited to answer that question. Uh, and it's a great question, right? Because people see the stock, you know, five years ago, six years ago, <clears throat> you know, it was at, you know, $2. And now technically it's at like 32 or $34 because it's it did a two for one stock split. So that's why it's showing 16. Um, I was on a call this morning with uh, Michael Valdez, uh, the president of international expansion, um, because we just announced uh, Dubai and uh, what was the other one? Uh, Chile. Uh, but we're launching, um, we have the people that are launching Costa Rica and it's helped open up the Dominican Republic. We have Jamaica. Um, we are an international, one big company, real estate brokerage and tech company. So what does that mean? What it means is that this is the way that my sponsor explained it to me. Matt, some people buy homes out of a trailer when there's just a farm field. They see the blueprints, they see the vision, but... You know, there's only a certain amount of people who will jump in at that time because of the unknowns. Okay, some people are going to buy when the first model home goes up, right? And and some people are going to buy when the first subdivision is done. Some people are going to buy in phase one, phase two, and phase three. And some people are going to buy resale. Where we are right now is probably about a phase one, in my opinion. And this is why a lot of people have heard of EXP, but not. A very few, very few people have actually seen a proper EXP Realty presentation because they're getting their information from our current broker. Yeah. <laughs> and I always say, if you were going to go buy a Tesla, you would never go and ask Ford what they think about Tesla. And so when people start getting the accurate information and start running proper numbers, um, you know, it becomes like a, a, a kind of a, a holy smokes moment. Um, and so I, in, in that phase one, two, three, I think we're just about getting to phase, finishing phase one, maybe, maybe halfway, you know, roads are in, but there's still construction. There's no grass on the lawn mm -hmm. um, because now we're starting to now see, you know, for example, the number one Keller Williams team in Canada joined a week and a half ago. They probably wouldn't have joined two years ago. I probably wouldn't have joined three years ago or four years ago when I first started. Okay. Now you're starting to see the big players come over because uh, the franchise model just can't compete with this. Yeah. We are the largest disruption that's happened in real estate. And I call it, um, and it's part of the book we're writing. Um, it's like being in the eye of the hurricane. Majority of agents are in the eye of the hurricane right now where it's nice and calm and in their little bubble and they're working in their desk and, you know, all that stuff. And what's happening on the outside is complete destruction. And that destruction is actually uh, the regional level of a lot of these franchises. Um, mm -hmm. Because we've seen uh, notes leaked about why not to join EXP. In fact, I just learned today from our broker record in Ontario that there was Remax Corporate going to Remax offices and sharing with their agents why not to join EXP. 
You know, you know what's okay. really you know what's really funny about that, Matt? <laughs> so I've I've been in discussions now for probably eight months, well, more or less since I joined DXP, uh, with a managing broker of Remax. And mm-hmm. I, met, I met with him over dim sum over Christmas. And he told me he went down to a, a Vegas conference, a Remax Vegas conference, and the number one thing that they talked about was EXP. It used yeah. to be it used to be Keller Williams, and now they're talking about how to slow the bleed to EXP. And it's funny yeah. you say that because yeah. I have no doubt that that's the kind of things coming out of those conferences. It's interesting. Yeah, like. Like, for example, uh, and I, I won't take up too much time because I could talk about it so I'm blue in the face uh, <laughs> because <laughs> it is what it is. But, um, you know, Keller Williams, uh, Gary Keller, when we had 6,000 agents in our company, Gary Keller at what's called the family reunion, their largest uh, gathering, mentioned EXP Realty 22 times in his opening speech. <laughs> wow. He effectively became our number one recruiter. <laughs> and now we're 80,000 agents because he saw what was going on. Yeah, you can okay? see Okay, but, it, you know, it's kind of like this. You know, Blockbuster couldn't have, well, like it couldn't even really happen, but Blockbuster Netflix example is the exact same thing. Blockbuster, you know, didn't want to do anything, have anything to do with Netflix, even though they had the opportunity to buy it. They then try to tr- do cloud-based, or not cloud-based, uh, online stuff. Completely miserably failed, too late, way behind the ball, and Netflix became Netflix. That's what we're starting to see in the real estate industry. Um, and and the people, you know, I can't wait till we finish not just phase one, but phase two, phase three, we get into resale. And that's when, when we get into the resales, when we're going to see mass adoption. Mm. And mass adoption happens when newer agents, EXPs everywhere, um, and newer agents come in. Uh, one last thing, guys, just to for the more uh, experienced agents on this, um, the number one thing that you'll get franchise owners saying to you are two things. Um, I don't know if this is appropriate to go this way, but uh, one, it's either a scam, pyramid, all that stuff. Yeah. Honestly. Uh, uh, okay. So if you've heard that, um, last time I checked, you can't be a scam or a pyramid scheme on publicly trade on the NASDAQ with a valuation of four and a half billion dollars. Uh, second, um, the biggest pyramid is the franchise model. The, you think that, you know, that money that you um, give to your franchise owner, you think that he's the one who just keeps it all? No, it goes to the regional owners, fail it, then goes to corporate and institutional investors. Uh, benefit from that as well it is a pyramid everything's a pyramid Mm -hmm. you know so so the pyramid scheme thing is just old school in fact i see the benefit in it because when you join exp you have now seven people above you who are in now specifically invested in your success go to any other brokerage and tell me six other age seven other agents at that office who want you to succeed and are willing to give you all their time and efforts and all of their goodies uh and tricks and tips to help you succeed. It doesn't exist because it's not the model. Um, and yeah, I think that was really all my, unless there's Perfect. any other. Oh, yeah. yeah, appreciate yeah. that, Matt. And this is, this is an exact example, right? Matt's not getting paid to do this presentation. He's doing it for us for free because he's in the upline. This is the perfect vision of how EXP support levels work. Awesome. Sorry, I had yeah, a D. Yeah, please, D. Oh, yeah, Here's sure. the last one. With this model, with the revenue program, obviously the agents above you do have an incentive to help you, but then how do they decide who would be acting as your managing broker? Yeah, great, great question. And you'll learn how that works um, uh, as you go through it. So this is how it works. So the managing broker has actually nothing to do with the revenue share. They're hired directly by eXp Realty Corporate and paid on salaries and stocks and bonuses and all that stuff. So how it works is there for, I'll use uh, British Columbia, for example, there's one uh, broker a record for the whole province. They kind of level, you know, deal with higher level stuff and anybody gets in trouble or lawsuits with clients or whatever. Um, underneath that broker record is all the managing brokers. So they are the ones based on your geographical area, you're going to be designated a managing broker. And that person is laser focused on helping you with any questions you have, um, 
are there to help you if you're in any trouble. And what's really cool is that if that managing broker, for whatever reason, is not available, you just call another British Columbia managing broker because there's multiple. All right. And they're all, uh, what schools are not, they're just, they're, they're not, they're the one, they're fantastic. They all have experience. It's a, quite a vigorous vetting program uh, or a vetting uh, process. So when you join EXP, then you'll be introduced to your managing broker. Um, who will do the transaction side of things. Where this call is really from is just sharing you with, with you, sharing you uh, EXP, uh, answering obviously questions like that, which is a great question. Um, but then we provide support specifically on uh, this aspect of the business on the agent attraction and showing agents and educating realtors. Yeah, and D, I'm happy to uh, get into any specifics with you on that as well. Um, you are in BC, right? Yeah. Okay. So as a BC agent with the XP, I can tell you right now we have access to six managing brokers and they also all live on what's called workplace, which is meta or Facebook's um, sort of community chat group, if you will, that um, EXP is the biggest global partner of, and they live in there as well. So you can ask a question. And again, my experience with three brokerages, I have never been more taken care of or replied to quicker than any other brokerage from my managing broker than EXP it's phenomenal how quick they get back to you. And that's very important, especially as you know a new agent, but hey, you're only gonna reach out to a managing broker when it's urgent. So when you hear back immediately, mm -hmm. it's really vital, you know, because I've been with brokerages that take weeks to reply and that is a deal killer. So yeah. incredible support there from yeah. the managing broker level. Thanks so much for answering that guys. Yeah, of yeah, course. Of course. Yeah, well, I think it, um, Matt, you can wrap it up. Sure. Here. Just one last one last question. I will. Uh, Sunny, uh, I saw your. I just saw your message in the chat. So, Meta, our Metaverse World platform. It's our own platform. It's called Verbella, which is its own independent company. Um, and Verbella, we rent this space out to Dell Computers, uh, HP, Ford Motors, Harvard University, Stanford. So it's another revenue source uh, for us for the parent company. So it's called Verbella. V I R. B E L L A, um, and yes, they. I've been on in some conversations with corporate um, about leading the future into uh, virtual real estate as well as into uh, blockchain technology and uh, cryptocurrency. With regards to, uh, we don't want to go too fast with that and scare people off, uh, but it is. We want to be the leading real estate brokerage uh, that kind of paves that path for when uh consumers are also ready for it um so that's yeah, thank you told. perfect awesome Same matt well thank you so much today for your time and everybody else here hope you learned a lot and we are definitely here to answer any more of your questions please reach out to me or whoever invited you to this and uh, we're happy to walk through how exp can help you and your specific business thanks guys awesome. perfect. thanks a lot dan Cheers. nice meeting you guys appreciate it Awesome. Thanks, Thanks again Take so care. much, Matt. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks, Bye for guys. now. Thanks, everyone.